order to properly define what a vector space is, we need to first define the cross product of two sets. Let's assume therefore to have the set A, the set B, So we define A cross B to be the following set. It's the set of pairs of one element little a and one element little b such that little a belongs to the set A and little b <laughs> belongs to the set B. Let's consider the, the following example. So assume that the set B equals the set A. Therefore, the set A cross A would be explicitly described as the pairs. Now we have two elements, so we have to denote them, uh, both of them belong to A, but we have to, in general, denote them differently because there is no restriction on these elements, so in general they will be different. So let's say A1, comma A2, such that a1 and A2 belong to the set A. <laughs> Notice that so inside A cross A we have element A1 a2, th this pair of elements, and also the pair of elements A2, comma A1. <laughs> These two elements will be different if A1 and A2 are different. Okay, therefore th the order in which I'm listing these elements matters. If I apply a permutation to these elements, this permutation in general changes the, the element in the cross product, in the Cartesian product of A cross A. <laughs> it may also happen that both of them are equal, therefore A comma A is a perfectly legitimate element in the cross product of A times A. So in this case, if I apply a permutation, of course, the element will be the same. It will not change. 